KMR. Welcome back to the channel. We've got some brap right here. So we're going to take a look at this freshly rebuilt, almost stock FD3S motor. Not something you see very often anymore as most people are going wild with the porting, with the modifications. And this is a very interesting car. Um, it's a show and go for sure. It's shooting flames, hitting the two-step. And uh, they ended up popping an apex seal because it was an OEM apex seal. It looked like they ran into some detonation or air intake temps that maybe got too hot. Caused a minor detonation in the rear rotor. And unfortunately, since it was an OEM apex seal, great for, for certain cars, uh, bad in certain applications. And when they shatter or they break, shrapnel goes everywhere. One of the bigger issues with breaking OEM apex seals and that did damage the rotor housing the rotor and uh, I'm not sure but I would definitely recommend taking a look at that turbo so when this motor went back together the customer wanted it as close to original OEM stock as possible but we wanted to increase reliability it is a standalone fuel management car and it is getting worked harder than the OEM configuration would have asked so with those requirements and also trying to keep it budget friendly uh, we basically put together an OEM rebuild, new rotor housings, new bearings, um, all fresh OEM water seals, uh, all of the rotor kit, your side seals, side springs, corner seals, all OEM. But in the application of trying to protect the investment, uh, get a little bit more reliability in the performance area of what this motor is going to do. We did upgrade the apex seals to a two millimeter two piece ENJ. And it's one of my favorite seals. There's some other great seals out there that also have the bendable or non-breakable quality. And that's uh, something that can be really desired when you're up against a situation where detonation or some type of situation may happen again and you don't want to damage your other components. Obviously, there's always trade-offs when you go to performance seals. They might not last as long as an OEM seal, but let's face it, most of our performance builds are never going to go 100,000 miles. We're just trying to enjoy them, protect our investment, and get them to last as long as we own the car. That would always be the goal right there. And then, you know, hey, when you sell it, that's, that's the next person. Hopefully, they treat it as good as you did, and they have just as much fun. But one of the nice things about your non-breakable seals is uh, if you do run into a detonation or something occurs that maybe is out of the motor's control, an external component failure, um, they are more likely to bend or stick, um, reducing the total amount of damage, reducing your repair costs. Um, and a lot of the times uh, in minor detonation situations, they may bend or stick a little and sometimes will even come back to life with a little bit of runtime. So much better in applications where you know you're going to abuse the motor. And, and this was kind of an interesting one because the motor is definitely going to get some abuse, but it's essentially desired to be OEM configuration. So there's a little bit of just tech talk or what we've learned at Mazda Tricks and KMR and how to build, uh, you know, different different styles of motors for different desired combinations. And again, you know, kind of neat to see how you can put together and utilize a very fun situation, an OEM FD3S block, um, still gonna make some power, single turbo, aftermarket computer, and just a single upgrade to Apex seals to add more protection and reliability in that extreme environment. So that's a wrap. If anybody's got questions, Comment below, let us know what you think, um, but just a nice, simple, increased reliability FD3S block, 13B. Thanks for watching, KMR.